Welcome back everyone. You may end up having some issues with your specific iPad where for some reason the touch screen of it, aka the whole entire display, it may start having some weird glitches. They call it ghost touches, which is essentially if you just leave your iPad on a display, sometimes it'll go ahead and randomly start glitching up. Maybe it'll start moving by itself. It doesn't necessarily mean that your iPad has an extremely crazy problem, but there's a couple ways to go ahead and fix it. And the first thing I'll recommend you guys to do is to verify that your iPad, the condition that it's in, if you recently dropped your iPad or if you threw it around or some crazy thing happened to it and it just now started randomly doing it, you may actually end up having a hardware issue. Now, hardware issues typically, you know, you break the screen or you break the digitizer, random things like that. You can probably end up having some issues in that specific situation. So all you really need to do is verify whether it's a hardware problem or let's say you just leave your iPad in your house. You don't take it out around with you and it randomly started glitching up. Well, what you want to do in that specific case is you want to go ahead and take your iPad and you want to see if there's any screen protectors on your iPad. There's been a couple situations where sometimes people, if they bring their iPad with them in the shower or something like that, there can be a lot of condensation that builds up on their screen protector and you may start seeing some bubbles and stuff. So you're going to have to go ahead and essentially remove that screen protector, clean off that display, and see if that fixes the issue. It's not every day that this, you know, will probably end up being the case, but throughout time, you know, over years and years of doing this stuff, you'll probably end up getting a lot of buildup under that screen protector, and you can probably see some issues there. So removing that screen protector, cleaning off the whole thing, will probably end up fixing the issue right there. Now, let's say that's not the situation either. You don't have a screen protector on it. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and essentially update your specific iPad. So what this looks like is you go inside of your settings app inside of your iPad, you go into general, you go into you know, your general settings, go into software update, and then you go ahead and update to one of the most recent versions of the software that's available. Right now, I think it's iPadOS 14.6. That's the latest one. So make sure you go ahead and update to that specific software. If you don't, you run the risk of either having some issues or whatever the case is. So just make sure that you're up to date on one of the more recent versions of software. And as long as that's the case, you should be good to go. Now, if none of these things work, like I mentioned, you may want to just power off your iPad and turn it back on. But Typically, if things are still not working out, you may have to contact Apple and have them take a look at it. Sometimes, like I mentioned, this may be the way to fix it, and it's the way I would probably recommend taking a look at it, to be honest. So that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then. Thank you.